Welcome back to another episode of Machining with Goring. I'm Alan, and for this episode, we'll talk about choosing the right drill. So, choosing the right drill. So before you choose the right drill, ang dami nating i-take into consideration. Unang-una is, ilang butas ba yung gagawin natin? Lima, sampo, bente, isang libo. So that's one way to choose your drill. And another thing you have to consider is, anong material yung bubutasan natin? Aluminum. Is it steel? Is it stainless steel? Is it titanium? Another thing you have to consider is budget. Diba? Do I have enough capital para makabili ng enough tools at enough materials? Dapat balansayin natin yun. Ngayong alam na natin kung ano yung material na bubutasan natin at alam na natin kung ilang butas na gagawin natin, now we have to decide on a substrate. Now, ano ba tong substrate? Substrate is another name for tool material or what is the composition of your drill. A perfect example of a substrate, yung pinaka-common is high-speed steel. Another type of substrate, high-speed powder metal, carbide, PCD, yung cubic boron nitride or CBN. Those are the many different types of substrate that your tool is made of. Yung isang factor na kailangan natin i-consider sa pagpili ng drill is yung drill geometry. Meron akong tatlong examples ng drills. Meron akong geometry for soft and long chipping materials. Meron akong geometry for hard and short chipping materials. At meron akong geometry for universal purposes. So pwedeng-pwede sa iba't ibang klaseng materials. Now, let's compare. Tingnan natin side by side. Yung geometry for soft materials, mas marami siyang ikot or helix as compared sa geometry for hardened materials. Etong helix na to, it follows what we call a helix angle. Now, the helix angle is the angle that is made with respect to the center of your tool. Drills for soft materials have higher helix angles than drills for hard materials. Paano nakakatulong yung geometry ng tamang drill? Halimbawa, yung machine shop mo, paiba-iba yung materials. This week, aluminum. Next week, brass. Next, next week, stainless steel. So yung right drill na para sa iyo would be the universal drill. Kasi bibili ka lang ng isang klasing drill, pwede mong ma-apply sa iba-ibang klasing materials. Pag yung ano naman, yung shop mo is more on mass production tapos puro aluminum, puro soft materials, then the geometry for soft materials is the best drill for you. Mas marami ka pa ring matatapos pag ito yung ginamit mo kesa yung universal geometry. Kasi this geometry is designed for the material that you are using. It also applies if yung shop nyo is mag-mass produce din ng materials na puro hardened. So this would be the best drill for you. It would last longer as compared to a universal drill. Actually, to help you better understand differences of geometries, pwede natin i-relate to sa biking. For example, si soft materials would be for road bike. Mabilis siya. Manipis. So it can run at high speeds. Mas matalas siya as compared dito. Ito naman, mountain bike. Kasi pwede siya sa trail, pero pagdating sa road, medyo mabagal siya. Yung universal drill naman is something in between. So, you can call it a gravel bike. So, pwede siya sa trail, pwede din sa road, although it's not as fast as this one, but it's definitely faster than this one. At pagdating sa mga harder materials, it can survive harder materials more than this one because this is sharper. That's it for choosing the right drill. Sana naman may natutunan kayong bago sa short presentation namin. Once again, this has been Alan for Machining with Guri. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And always remember to use the right tool for the right job. Bye-bye!